Make the head of the Yeah, except he's not going there now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Before I start, I'd really like to thank the people that helped us get here, our parents and teachers. Without the hard work and love that these people put in to change our lives, we wouldn't be where we are today. Thank you for helping us in. Next, I'd like to thank my colleagues. I'd like you all to look to your right. I'll look to your left. What have we learned? Well, some people still don't know their left and right. <laughs> but in all seriousness, uh, all seriousness, this may be one of the last times you see some Cherish today. Obviously, I've done well academically. That's why I'm speaking before you today. Although I've been blessed with intelligence, it has not come as easy as one of them. I consider myself an intelligent but often person with standardized testing will tell you that many of my other colleagues up here today are much smarter than myself. But I've still found success. This is because I knew where I wanted to be. Right here, right now. So I challenged myself. I knew that I wanted to be successful and take rigorous courses because I knew it was something that I really wanted and I could achieve. Setting my goals is where it's all started. For many people, school is not your thing. That's perfectly fine. I'm not asking that everyone takes the most challenging, challenging courses and gets the best grades. I just hope that everyone here today can be the best you that you can be. Now, everyone's view of this may be different. Mom and Dad may want you to be a doctor, but you may want to be an artist. Do what you want to do. Do it to your full potential. We live in a society where we are told to do what we want, but push to do what others want us to do. This is our time. A very famous child book, child book writer once said, The day you are you, that is truer than true. There's no one alive that is fewer than you. And that's Dr. Seuss. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> There's so many talented people in this audience that don't get the credit for everything they do. I challenge those people to utilize those skills and strive to become a better artist, a better biker, a better scientist, a better you. As many of you know, I've also been quite successful at that. Since I was a child, I always had a Ricky Bobby type mentality. I always wanted to go fast. I worked very, very hard and had goals in mind. Often, I surpassed these goals, even surprising myself. Once this happened, I, I simply set new goals for myself, and I achieved more than I could have ever imagined as a child. I ended my high school career proudly with all state honors and three school records. I've uh, learned that uh, firsthand that hard work pays off. If I can do that, then who knows what we could all accomplish if we stay determined and set goals for ourselves. We cannot become complacent with what we have because we can always improve. At Rachel's challenge, the speaker said something that really caught my attention. He said, set your goals just out of reach, but not out of sight. This is exactly what I wish for each and every person to do today. Maybe one day you will reach that goal, and then you must simply set a higher goal. If we do this together, we will move society along and get ourselves out of the slum. Achieve greatness. Take some chances. What can go wrong? Failure? Vincent Van Gogh would new failure very well, as he only sold, sold one painting his entire lifetime. Maybe it was a fluke that he got put down in history as one of the greatest artists, but it would never would have happened if he did not pursue his passion. A wise character from uh, the TV show The Office named Kevin once said, Look, I know it's easy to say to that was a fluke, and maybe it was, but here's a piece of truth, Sean. A fluke is one of the most common fish in the sea, so if you go fishing for a fluke, chances are you just might catch one. <laughs> Lastly, I'm thankful to be in the presence of all of you today. You have made my high school journey and elementary and my whole life a great one. And I thank you so much for that. As I punch my last table down and turn it in, I just want you all to know that we have the potential to do great things. We just have to set our goals and stay determined. Congratulations, class of 2000.